Commander Fillion, this is Dr. Weaver at NASA Ground Control. Ground Control to Commander Fillion, do you read me? I read you loud and clear, Dr. Weaver. Excellent. How's the weather on Mars today? Weaver, you sly dog. You know there's no weather under the dome. I hate to praise my own design, but we do have a nice dome. Even if the people around here are calling us the bench warmer Mars colony, the B-team Mars colony, there's a lot of mean sports analogies going around. Oh, don't listen to them. They made such a big deal over the first one with their trained scientists. But if humanity goes to live on the majestic red planet, who's humanity? Not scientists, but regular people, common folk. It's my mission to prove that anybody can sustain themselves on Mars. And I've decided that it's your mission as their astronaut guide to help them grow the very first eggplant in space. An eggplant? Somebody already did zucchini. This is madness, Doc. Can we even get any Parmesan up here? I promise I will devise you some type of Parmesan in the shuttle as soon as your team produces an eggplant for NASA. I guess even regular people can't mess up growing an eggplant too badly. That's the spirit. I could herd this flock of gullible sheep wherever I want them to go. What was that? I mean, I can't wait to read. I can't wait to lead these regular Joes. You know, I was a little sad when NASA didn't ask me to go to lead the Mars colony. They think I'm a dreamer. I got my head in the clouds, but if it wasn't me, I'm glad it's you. I know you'll take care of things. Right. And please remind everyone that we could send them any of their comforts from home in the shuttle. Favorite snacks, music, anything like that. Sure. I'll tell them. But don't expect them to thank you. They just like to complain. Really? You didn't note any complaints in your captain's log. Oh, I like to uh, attend to them personally. I have it under control. Are they listening to you? I'm the commander. Of course they are. Okay, well, all the same, I'm interested to have the colonists start making their reports to NASA in the next phase of the experiment. Right, and about that. You know, you might hear some stuff. What kind of stuff? Mostly about how great it's going. Oh, sorry. Hold on. There's a Martian dust storm. I, I gotta go. Oh, don't worry. There's no weather under the dome. Uh, sorry. I can't hear you. The wind. Whoa, no. What wind? How is the wind? How peculiar. NASA, do you read me? Do you read me, NASA? Loud and clear. This is Charlie from Mars. Thank you very much for allowing me to speak with you today. Of course. I was just surprised to hear from you, that's all. We weren't expecting your report until tomorrow. I thought perhaps it would be wise to speak to you now. As I am in what I suppose you might call a predicament, I am filled with intense rage all the time. Oh, that sounds unpleasant. And I fear that my sanity is beginning to fray. Now, Charlie, let's remain calm. I'm going to ask you a few questions. <sighs> Are you on edge because of the vastness of the great void of the universe? Sort of. It's a crumbling of the will. A slow unraveling. Is it the separation from the rest of humanity? Yes, yes, yes! With only us and the dishes in the sink for three days that she doesn't even have the decency to rinse? No, I don't want you to panic, but I think it could be face madness. No, it's definitely my roommate. What? Even if humanity is far away on Earth, we are still human beings, aren't we? And we owe each other whatever is left of civilization, don't we? We cannot put another human being in a place where they can accidentally touch a piece of squishy pasta in the sink. We cannot. We cannot. So you're having a problem with the colonist sharing your living pod. She was fine all through training on Earth. But this place has made her something else. Something pitiless. Something evil. Look, I know this kind of situation can be very frustrating. But when you ask her, she said no to doing the dishes. I mean, I definitely implied I wasn't happy. I looked at the sink. I sighed really loudly. Nothing. This isn't space madness. This is being passive aggressive. I don't want to seem too bossy. We're trying to run a Mars colony here. Ask her to do the dishes. 
I was thinking of throwing us both out the airlock. That's murder. Ask her to do the dishes, Charlie. I guess. I just don't want to make it weird, you know? It's already weird, Charlie. But she ate some of my Oreos, and I suggested she request her own Oreos. And she's all like, my Oreos never ran to what am I supposed to do? And I think I'm going to have to resort, resolve to something extreme. Charlie, what are you saying? I'm going to leave her a note on a post-it. I've got to tell you, Commander, I'm a little concerned about the morale among your colonists. What are you so worried about? We're having a great time. Doing experiments, processing data, taking turns with the squeegee on the dome. It's like a vacation. Well, they don't seem to be getting along at all. They're not talking to each other, and there's not even being any work done towards growing the eggplant. That's what I said, and they just won't listen. And it looks like some of the deliveries from the shuttle aren't making it to them. What are they talking about? That's impossible. I'll look into it, but you know, people will always find something to complain about. I guess that's true. Especially regular people, you know, non-astronauts. I mean, they started their own softball league. What can you do with people like that? To be honest, the morale among my team at NASA is getting pretty low too. I guess I just hoped I could give everybody a good experience. You know what was a great experience? We had a colony council meeting last night, and we voted for a new name for the colony. Oh, how wonderful. Democracy at work. Tell me, what did you guys come up with? After a long and continuous debate, we landed on New New Jersey. Oh, that's... Wow. New New Jersey. Everyone's really happy with it. Great. Great. As long as all of you are happy, I'm happy for you. Whatever it is you choose. For whatever reason. It's a great name. Okay, well, I've got to get back to my, uh, data. Don't worry about a thing, Doc. It's all under control. NASA ground control to Jess. NASA ground control to Jess. Jess, do you read me? I read you. Let's go ahead and get your report. So you mentioned that you were going to try some experiments on Martian soil so we could begin growing the eggplant? Oh, did you still want that? Of course I do. What are you talking about? Oh no, no, it's, it's happening again. Are, are you okay? Oh, sorry. Reflex. A couple of days ago, Charlie, who shares my living pot, developed an allergy, I guess, to headphones. And I guess she only likes one song. One incredibly catchy song. So, the eggplant. Oh, are we we're still doing Oh, I thought we weren't. Doing the eggplant anymore, but I think I did something else. This one is pretty good. <laughs> you seem distracted. Do you want to ask her to turn it down? Hey, buddy, Charlie, could you like turn it down a little? You know, it's math on the phone. Thanks, Rumi. For the love of Pete, leave it off and begging you. Okay, so I haven't really done any experiments or slept in four days, but what I did do was this. That is some cups. I call it Castle Cuppington. Okay, um, Jess, Jess, may I ask why you chose to build a giant tower of cups rather than doing the scientific research requested by NASA? Well, first of all, I mean, look at it. It's awesome. Second of all, I cannot concentrate on a thing but that song. It's been days, days. I know the conditions aren't optimal, but is it really that hard to 
to, to, to look um careers are writing on this dress i really need to up oh, just keep going doesn't it um, I, I try. I, I try to write down data and all of the paper and all written. Hilarious. Our team needs that eggplant. All I can do is stack in rhythm. Stack in rhythm. Look, I don't. Um, no. She has a tiny kind of headphones, can she? Hey, Charlie, still in the phone in here. <laughs> Why are you doing this? I don't understand. When you saw the sun, why don't you know, we eat Oreos together? And I just took the toasts everywhere. No, no, no. I am a doctor. Don't get Look, you need to go to another room. I'm actually kind of afraid to go into the kitchen. Whenever she's in every room, she just can do her head to the sink and slime. It could be face madness. That's what I thought too. I mean, I haven't been able to do any of my dishes. Hey, I think there was before the song started, there was, there was something, some sort of causation. No, no, no. Correlation. No, I mean, no, I, I, no, I think we need to be in the kitchen and ask Carly about her weird post it notes. Really? It might be your only thought. I don't know, but I'm willing to try anything. Wait, wait, before you go, Matt has one more very important thing to ask of you. Yes. Could you knock over the cup tower? I think it would look really, really cool. One, four, three, two. Woo! Robin, do you read me? Come in, Robin. And who might this be? You know it's NASA. And who do you hope to speak with? I'm just saying what's written on the paper. It's Robin Jones. Nobody here by that name. Robin, I... I'm the foremost expert in my field in aerospace. I'm not going to say that thing you want me to say. My name is Thras Malamar. Yeah, that. Look, I said I wanted to start wearing an eye patch, and you said no. I don't want you running around up there with no depth perception. I said that while in space, I would prefer to be employed as a bounty hunter, and you said no to that too. Nobody read the information packets, did they? So the least you can do, doctor, is call me by my space name. You know what? Fine. Why is it... Thrace Malamar again? The last name of Starbucks is Battlestar Galactica, plus a delicious cookie that sounded like Star Wars. I've been thinking about Malamars a lot. By the way, the box I requested never arrived. Could you check on that? I keep telling you people it's possible just for the snacks to not arrive. The shuttle is programmed to go to one place. It's not possible. Seems like you ought to put a bounty hunter on that case. No, okay, look, I mean, Thrace, Mr. Malamer, here's the thing. It's costing several million dollars for you to be on Mars. I really need to show NASA something. I need that eggplant. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't work with these people. What's the problem? Well, first of all, they're all from Earth. Where else would they be from? All I'm saying is if I wanted to meet people from Earth, I would could have stayed at home and tried to flirt with everyone at GameStop again. Oh boy. I mean, is it too much to ask for for one attractive alien or with all human features besides slightly different ears or something and maybe they just don't know how to live? Look, we're, we all watched a lot of Star Trek as kids and are hoping for an alien spouse we could teach to love. I know. That's why I joined NASA. Too bad you guys haven't found life on any other planets. Well, actually, I mean, no. No. That's too bad. That's disappointing. I know, buddy. So, do you think you could try to work with some of the other colonists? But none of them are even robots. 
Well, the Mars rover is kind of a robot. It doesn't make the witty commentary. Neither do you, Robin. Have you ever thought about that? Listen, you're relying on everybody else to make this some epic space opera. You're living it. You're the second colony ever to be on Mars. It's the adventure of a lifetime. I mean, I guess, but how can you have adventure of a lifetime in a place when there, that apparently we have to call New New Jersey? Is that what this is about? How could they? How could they have called? They could have called us so many different things, and they call it New New Jersey. Robin, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I actually agree with you. You do? Literally anything else. <laughs> I guess I didn't think there would be so much, so, so much collecting data on my adventures. Me neither, buddy. Me neither. <sighs> okay. I guess I better make the best of it. Thanks for talking me down, man. That was really nice of you. Okay. You okay? Sure, don't worry about me. Hey, Robin. Yeah? What if I told you that one of your fellow colonists is actually a robot who needs your help? Yes, I knew it! Is it a Terminator? Is it Karen? That's for you to find out. Just play a cool, grow an eggplant with them, and we'll all complete our mission. Okay, okay, okay. It's Charlie, right? Nah, it's, it's probably Karen. Goodbye, Thrace Malamer, and good luck. Mars to ground control. Mars to ground control, do you read me? What is it, Charlie? Did you finally throw Jess out the airlock? It's me, Charlie from Mars. Yeah, I know. What new nightmare have you devised for me to deal with today? Look, so first of all, I'd like to apologize for Mambo number five. I think that's more Lubega's job, but I appreciate it all the same. Second of all, Quinn gave me back my extra oxygen, so you don't have to worry. Literally the least she could do, but okay. Third of all, I believe this time I am truly in the grip of space madness. Oh God, what ridiculous thing are you about to say? It's about the eggplants. What about them? There are no eggplants. I've been begging you people just to grow me one, one single eggplant and you won't. And I assume it's because you hate me or you just don't care. See, that's what Jess said. She came in with a stack of post-its I left around the house and we started talking. Oh, that sounds kind of nice. I know. But she said that you said we are supposed to grow eggplants. That was what I was telling people that growing eggplants well, the commander told me he's deathly allergic to eggplants. What? It's literally the only time he's ever spoken to me. I asked him if we should grow anything else, but he said to leave that stuff to the astronauts. Unless I imagined it. Is it the void? The vastness? Has space madness finally taken hold? On the contrary, this is the most sense things I've made in a long time. Thanks, Charlie. NASA, do you read me? This is anonymous. This is an anonymous caller. Hi, Karen. It's not Karen. It's it's a different... Karen, this is your camera. I know it's you. What's going on? I'm not going to get in any trouble, am I? That's amazing, considering you really enjoy getting other people in trouble. <sighs> Here's the thing, though, Doc. I've been thinking... I've been thinking a lot. All my life. Oh boy. All my life, I've asked to speak to the manager if I didn't if I felt I wasn't getting what I wanted. I liked it and I was good at it. But something's really fishy around here, and I mean very fishy. And I said to myself, Karen, what if you spoke to the manager of this colony about things that affected other people besides you? Oh, geez. Poor Commander Fillion. Sorry, buddy, but I think in this situation, the manager is you. Oh, no, look, everybody here at NASA is taking your concerns very seriously. We didn't name the colony New New Jersey. What? I. What do you mean? 
It's a terrible name and everyone hates it. Well, some people must have liked it if that's what you voted on. That's what I'm saying. I don't think Commander Fillion really counted the votes. For some reason, that nerdy guy Robin really wanted to be my friend all of a sudden. Ah, yes. But he kept talking to me, and when he mentioned New, New Jersey, we realized that neither of us voted for it. My vote was for Costco, after my favorite place on Earth. His was for Moisture Farm, which I think is actually worse. Uh, well, I'm glad the two of you are working together, but what are you saying? I'm saying you should keep an eye on Commander Fillion. Something's not right. Let's not jump to conclusions. Oh, I'm jumping in my hug. You're an authority on jumping now? Well, let's see what your manager thinks. No. Wait, no. Pardon me. I'm growing as a person. Just keep that in mind. I was never here. Goodbye, Karen. <sighs> hmm. Commander Fillion, this is Dr. Weaver at NASA. Do you read me? Hey, it's the doc. What's up, doc? I read you loud and clear. Well, I'm starting to wonder if I've read you clearly at all. What's that supposed to mean? I've been talking to the colonist. Oh, I'm sorry. They're the worst, right? They are the worst, and I think they're on to something. I think you know what happened to the supplies that went missing in the shuttle. Be careful now, doctor. Are you implying what I think you're implying? Okay, I didn't imply it. I said it directly. Also, you picked the colony name election. How dare you? You told them not to grow eggplants. How could you say such a thing? I'm I'm burning with righteous integrity. I'm so offended. I don't know. I don't know what I could do. I could rip this place apart. Are those Oreos? No. I mean, those are definitely Oreos. The very Oreos Charlie said she never received. No, those are mine. I requested my own and mine arrived. I don't know what happened to Charlie's. Wait, and there, by your shoulder, those are chips. No, wait, I can explain. I think I've seen enough. Come on, doctor. We went through training together. We were so much better than them. These people are fools. They don't deserve snacks. We deserve snacks for putting up with them. Am I right? Come on. Who cares? I care. I'm living my dream right now. My job is establishing a Mars colony. And sure, maybe it isn't exactly what I thought it would be, but I made it happen. And now we have a responsibility to these people. If they're fools, they're our fools. Why should they listen to us if we're just going to take their snacks? Because I'm the commander and they're not. Not anymore. I've held a real colony election with the council, and they voted. You're fired. The shuttle will be coming tomorrow to relieve you of your duty. Wait, wait. wait. And you're going to have a lot of explaining to do when you get back to NASA. New New Jersey's a great name. Admit it. Just admit it. Goodbye, Commander. Admit it! Ground control to Mars, ground control to Mars. Do you read me? I read you, NASA. Loud and clear. How's the weather up there, Doc? Oh, you old so-and-so. You know there's no weather under the dome. It's a perfectly controlled atmosphere of my own design. I know, I was just jostling with you. But really, how's everything going? I just... Every time I think about that they really wanted me to be the new commander of this colony, I, I get really emotional. I just want to say so much. Again. It's just, it means everything. And I live on Mars, and we just... <laughs> okay. And Karen was right. The air is really dry up here, but it's still so majestic. Okay. So anyway, did you guys pick a name for this new colony? You know what? We voted again, and we decided to stick with New New Jersey. After all that? 
it kind of grows on you after a while. Like Mambo number five. Speaking of growing, how's that eggplant coming along? Um, well, the real thing that we're growing here is a new way of life, a community, civilization. No luck, huh? It turns out growing eggplants here is surprisingly difficult, but space is the final frontier. And tomorrow? Well, <laughs> tomorrow we'll try our hand at green beans. Yeah. Put your hands like 